Quite a few too. It's crazy. And I love the game before the word day. So I want to keep breaking down the stories. So today we're on First Corinthians chapter 10. And it's talking about the Israelite people. Um, like using their history as an example for us. So let's read it. It says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that. I'm going to just read off this so y'all can literally see what I'm reading off. Because I feel like at times I go over what y'all are trying to read, you know. So it says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all, all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them and the rock was Christ. So what that's telling us is that to be saved, we all had to go to the one that our savior, the one that we needed, that was king of kings, Jesus. And he sacrificed for us so that we could be saved. And it continues. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown, overthrown in the wilderness, overthrown by sin, and that caused them to fall away from God. It says, now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. And what that's telling us is don't lust after things of this world. As far as we lust over women, we lust over money, we lust over materialistic things that will fade away, but God will never leave us or forsake us. That's why we need to seek him out. Because when you seek something that is of God and godly, like because it's God, you can't lose because he will never leave us. He is just and good. And he has plans that are good for all of us. So when you seek him, you will find him and he will make your life prosperous and show you unconditional love. And that's the only person, that's, that's the only being in this world that will always love you unconditionally, perfectly, because he made you. He's the creator. And it says, neither be ye idolaters as some of them, as it is written. The people sat down to drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, some of also murmured and were destroyed of destroyed. Now all these are Things happen unto them, for examples, and they are written for our abom at abomination upon whom the urns of the earth are come. And what that's telling us is these are all sins that the Israelite people were partaking in. And he's referencing it back because these are common. It says, here, let me, let me continue because it, you need to understand this bottom part to really understand. So it says, wherefore, I let him. That think if he stand, take heed, he fall. There he, there have no temptation taken you, but such as it is common to man. So all these temptations that we go through on a daily basis are common to man. They are common to humankind. That's why the Israelite people were going through it back then and why current day is even worse now. Because our society is, we live in a fallen world and our society is over-sexualized. So it's always teaching you to think about stuff like that. Instead of teaching you to grow in your word and grow in your faith because Satan runs this world until Jesus comes back, Satan will still run this world. So the stuff that's promoting in the world will go against the Bible. And it tells us this. And that's why reading the Bible is so important because it will tell you so much wisdom about what you're going to see, how you're going to be tempted. It literally talks about fornication. Like three of the biggest like issues in our society and sins that are to today that are used like that are common like there's no sin that is good or bad you know what i'm saying like they're all just as bad there's an equally as bad but murmuring uh ye some uh, against the murmured and we're destroyed up because of destroyed that's literally gossiping like we we are constantly gossiping about other people and bringing them down murmuring like that's always talking about other people always feeling the need to talk about people. That's so common in our society, right? That's roasting. It's subtle stuff, like, and it can get to a high point. Like, when you're roasting with your bros, keeping it chill, you know what I'm saying? It's funny, you know, if everyone's involved in it. But a lot of times we, there's people, and we can get caught up in talking down on people because we're judging and passing judgment. And that, when you start passing that judgment, it makes you, 
you're acting as God and we don't have that power. Only God can judge. And God says, if you judge, you will be judged. Like, so by the same standard. So don't judge people because then you're going to be held to that standard. When we are all getting judged by God, but we're made righteous through Jesus so we can act righteous. So remember that every time you think about judging someone. And it continues, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So when you're tempted, remember that you will not be tempted more than you can keep because God knows your heart. He knows what you can do and he has faith in you. As far as he knows that if you can choose him in this situation, you will grow. Your faith will produce more fruit and grow more if you just thug it out through that trial and tribulation. Look at Job. He went through all that, but at the end, God gave him two times what he had initially. And it's like when you just bear through it and keep walking with Christ, he'll walk through that trial with you and explain himself and also help you through it. It's like God tells us to walk by faith, not by sight, but he still shows us. When he healed that blind, used me to heal that blind woman, he showed her. And I'm I'm supposed to be getting the video so I can actually show y'all because I think the video would change, like change a lot of people and open a lot of eyes because you can physically see it. Because a lot of our society walks by sight, not by faith. But at the end of the day, I used to be the same way. I had to see it to believe. It. And sometimes, if you like, if you ask God to show Himself, He will show you. Because He is all powerful. He can do all things. If He wants you to know Him, He will. And you ask Him to show Himself, He will show you. So talk, believe and put your faith in him and reach out and seek him and you will find him. And it continues. But with, will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Whenever there's a temptation, there's always a way to go. And until you know God, you won't know that way out because you won't be able to acknowledge him and ask him, God, how do I'm being tempted? Help me out this situation, please. God, I feel this way. Can you get rid of these feelings so I can move forward? Because sometimes it is that simple. When those lustful thoughts hit me, God, can you remove these lustful thoughts? I know these aren't of me. This doesn't align with your word. I want to cancel out these thoughts. Heal. Gone. Now you're thinking clear again. That's the power of God we serve. Jehovah is the all-powerful. I believe in the Holy Trinity. Jehovah the Father. Jesus Christ the Son. And our Savior, who was fully man, fully God, who died on that cross for us because Jehovah sent him to die for us. And he chose to follow Jehovah's plan and die for us so we can be made righteous in the eyes of God, so we can live righteously. And then I believe in the Holy Spirit. All believers have the Holy Spirit inside us working and showing us the plans of God. And we wouldn't know it if we didn't. Know God. That's why you need to seek God with your whole heart and you will find him today. Don't wait till he comes back. Do it now because don't wait till it's too late. Appreciate that sub. Like I said, that's a blessing. Another blessing. Um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Seek him today and you will find him. God bless you.